Hello everyone, this is Cheryl with CNC RV Dare Ya. And today I'd like to share an RV friendly recipe with you. So follow us, The Adventures of CNC. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you won't miss our weekly videos. When we first purchased our RV and I saw we only had a two burner stove, I thought it would be a problem, but it's never been a problem. We actually bought our grill right at the beginning of our journey and grilling goes really good with camping out. But besides grilling, because you can't always grill sometimes, the weather isn't good, in Florida it's really hot in the summer, and along our journey last year, there were times when it was too cold to grill outside. So what I did get myself was a crock pot and some other electric um, devices so that I didn't even need to use my two burner stove. And today I want to share with you a pot roast recipe. So I throw everything in one pot in the morning. In fact, it smelled like breakfast was cooking and the, the house, the RV smelled delicious all day. But it was actually dinner because we tried to fast during the day and we eat one big meal at night so I'm going to share with you my pot roast recipe which is a perfect RV friendly meal I'm making a slow cooker pot roast so I brown my pot roast first now I'm sauteing my onion I will add garlic So in the same skillet, I've added a cup of beef broth. I'm adding some thyme leaves, parsley, rosemary, this sauce, and I'm stirring it to get the, the drippings from browning the pot roast in here to give it more flavor. I'm just going to warm this for a couple minutes and then I'm going to pour it over my pot roast. Just long enough to get all the flavors mixed together. And now I'm going to pour this over my pot roast and the slow cooker and I'm going to set it on low for eight hours. I'm also going to add some carrots and potatoes to this mixture. I've added potatoes and some baby carrots because I'm too lazy to buy carrots and peel them and all that stuff so I just use the baby carrots. And now I'm going to set it and forget it for the next eight hours and dinner will be ready. I've also added some celery and some orange pepper, more flavor. Now after eight hours, I have checked it in between and stirred it a few times. Eight hours of cooking, I can just shred my pot roast with a fork. There we go. And it looks just lovely. It's just falling apart. This is also good for those of you who work remotely. So when I'm busy, and I know I'm going to have a busy day, I plan ahead for this one pot meal. And at the end of the day, we just need to eat. I like to cook with wine, 
Sometimes I even pour a little bit into my food. So I suggest you do the same. Cheers. It's pretty impressive with a slow cooker that you can put one big piece of meat that takes hours to cook, potatoes and carrots all at one time, and everything cooks perfect. The potatoes, I thought after eight hours would be just mush, but they're not, they're perfect. The potatoes, the carrot, everything is perfect. The meat is super soft. And super delicious. So if this video is helpful to you or you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. See you on the road.